Hey guys, how's it going? So, we're back out at the farm. We're going over gun safety again, a little bit more. I'm kind of telling her, hey look, what you've seen in the movies, forget about it. 99% of the time, you don't want to learn to shoot or ever handle a gun like you've seen in the movies. And don't forget that, guys. A lot of people that are brand new to guns, that's maybe their only exposure they've ever had, or at least 90% of what they know about a gun. So. Don't ever forget to tell people what to do, but also what not to do. So, hope you guys enjoy, and here's another episode of Teaching Ray to Shoot. So, when we see in the movies all the time, you always see the guy running around like this, <laughs> like he's like he's G.I. Joe and he's running around, and I am pointed in a safe direction right now. We don't want to run around like that. So, basically, here's what's tough. Someone that's just kind of getting into guns a little bit, everything you've seen in the movies, is almost all the time. It's a little far-fetched. Yes. The, the cops that run around with their finger on the trigger <laughs> and they're just pointing it at people just to make sure. You don't point a gun at anything unless you're willing to destroy it. Which, this is probably a topic for another video, but sometimes there is the instance where, unfortunately, we would have to shoot at a person. If we knew we were in imminent harm, danger, life-threatening situations. You wouldn't be taking a life to kill somebody. You would be doing it to protect yourself or your loved ones. Right. So in rare instances, we'd be doing that. But we never want to run around like the cops in all the movies where their their fingers are always here, okay? Good to know. This is what a lot of us in the you know shooting community call the bang switch. So when you flip a switch on a light, the light's going to come on, right? You flip this switch by pulling it down, assuming there's ammunition loaded, it's going to go bang, right? So. Bang switch. Yep. New terminology for you right there. So basically, like I said, this AR-15, first of all, we're going to check to see if this gun is indeed loaded, okay? I told you it's not. Okay. And you're going to run across this too in the future. Someone's going to hand you a gun, and they're going to say it's not loaded, or it is loaded. You never take anyone's word for it. Even if I just sat here and checked this gun, which we're going to do right now, and I verify it's loaded, when I hand it to you, you should check too. So the way this particular gun works, I just pulled back on the charging handle. And that brought what's called the bolt back. So now we're opened up in here, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to drop our magazine. This is a magazine. This is what holds the ammunition. Okay. Okay. So we see that there's nothing in there, right? There's no pieces of ammunition. Yes. And now, basically, again, we can talk more later. But for now, what happens when you run this gun is the ammunition comes out of here. It goes up into the this end of the barrel which is the breech end it's called, and then it's going to go out the muzzle. So we're going to look in here and we're going to see if we see anything shiny, like in any brass or anything like that. Yeah, I don't see anything. Do we see anything in there? Looks pretty hollow. Yep. So this gun is empty right now. This gun's considered safe. We are still not going to point it at anything we don't wish to destroy because of rule number one, right? Always treat a gun as though it's loaded. Okay. And you know how these rules of gun safety work? You're probably noticing already they're a little bit redundant, right? A little bit, but Well, there's a cautious. reason for that. If, if you're following the full rules of gun safety, if you break one rule and only one rule, nobody's going to get hurt. That's the crazy thing. If you really think about it, you have to break two of the rules at the same time before anyone could ever get hurt. So if you look at it this way, that we're going to keep the gun always pointed in a safe direction. Okay. Well, what if I accidentally pointed it in an unsafe direction well we haven't heard anybody yet if we're following the other rule where your finger is not on that trigger mm -hmm. until you've acquired your sight right so and if you think about all four of them you literally have to break two at once so some of them are on the ground but i was able to save one <laughs> <laughs> oh trust me the guys that watch my videos they're used to this kind of stuff so pointed in a safe direction finger not on the trigger um, what are my other two? Okay, you never want to, so you basically always treat it as if it's loaded. Okay. Even though we just checked and we know this gun's not loaded, right? Always treat as if it's loaded. Yep. Point it in a safe direction. We are going to not put our finger on the trigger until we've what's called acquired our target, until you've aimed it at what you're ready to shoot at, right? Okay. And then when you do shoot in a direction, you have to know what's beyond your target. Okay. And that's where people, a lot of times, I, if I had to guess, probably the most commonly broken gun safety rule is kind of like the trigger one. I see too many people doing that. 
And then I think the other one sounds a little innocent, but it's still just as dangerous, not knowing what's beyond your target. Like people honestly think that if they're just shooting at like a jug of water, that it doesn't matter what's behind it. Well, maybe, but you can't take those risks. Right. Some rounds of ammunition are so weak that they will not go through that jug of water. There's other types of guns that that round of ammunition would go through like half a dozen bottles of water or through one bottle of water and still be able to kill or hurt somebody on the other side. Good to know. Okay, so we kind of reiterated the rules of gun safety. Now look, I know what you guys are going to say. We already went over that last episode. Yeah, and to be honest, I think it's good when you're teaching somebody anything new to kind of repeat yourself a little bit. Because just remember, a lot of you guys know this stuff like the back of your hand and you're thinking, yeah, 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 rules of gun safety. But just remember, if you were to learn a new foreign language, you'd probably need the words repeated to you just a couple times. And Ray's no dummy. She's a smart lady. But I think when it comes to guns, when there's such a potential to have fun and to learn about them and be confident to use them as a life-saving device or on the downside, the potential to destroy something or possibly hurt somebody, I think we need to err on the safe side and if you kind of double up on things and kind of work your way back around in a circle a little bit when it comes to these core fundamentals, I think it's really worth doing. So just remember, she's new to shooting and if you guys ever encounter somebody and get the chance to teach them to shoot, I encourage you to do the same thing. Don't go too quick. Now we don't want to be too boring. You notice I crack a little joke here and there. You know, we want this to be fun. but. The fundamentals are very, very important. So she learned about the fundamentals a little bit more. I think she's getting it down really good. And also learned a little bit about how the gun works. So in future episodes, we're going to go a little further about showing her how the gun works and get to the point where we're shooting. All right. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Yeah, still going. <laughs> That's like the outtake. So I'll crop that in. <laughs> okay. Yeah.